Ooh, what's up, y'all? It's been a minute. It's really been a minute. Um, I meant to record this yesterday, but honestly, y'all, this week has just been... It's been a lot. A lot of stuff's happened. You know, my online classes started this week, so I'm trying to get through this first week of coursework because the next... Because I have... Well, basically, all of my June classes... Well, one is right now, it's June to July, and two of them are June, so that's three. And then I have another three that starts um, at the end of June, two of them, and then one that starts July. So literally, I have to get through all this coursework, so much reading. Like, I have not been in school since January, so I have to catch up on so much stuff. But I'm making sure I record this weekend. Hopefully, I can record some stuff. Um, I'm recording this tonight. As well as my Insecure review, which I was supposed to record Monday, but I was at a protest. Um, this is how you know it's late. I'm coming with you in a whole bonnet. So, yeah, this is how we rocking right now. Um, I'm going to be making a couple of videos um, for tomorrow, including um, stuff relating to basically educating yourself on... Black Lives Matter, which is part of what I'm going to be talking about. Um, first of all, updates on a lot of cases. Uh, the George Floyd case, all four officers are officially um, being charged. They up their Chauvin charge to second degree. Um, I know a lot of us want first degree. The thing is, it's going to be really hard to prove, so they'll be able to prove second degree. Um, two of the officers basically are trying to Throw all the blame on Chauvin, saying that they're rookies, even though they've been on the job since 2019, like late 2019. So I'm just like, these defense lawyers really try to find any and anything to get their people off. I'm like, Ey. listen, mm -mm, I don't know how y'all stomach doing this, like, honestly. But yeah, they set the bail for the three other officers at 750k each. I heard it was a million on GMA, but it's 750k each. But um, yeah, the Ahmad Aubrey preliminary hearing was yesterday. And child, <laughs> ooh, their lawyer really tried it. Their lawyer really tried it. First of all, the video that leaked last month that we all saw was much longer than it was. Basically. The the guy Travis basically stood over his body after he shot him and said, "Effin N word" with the E R. I'm like, "Hate crime, hate crime." Mind you, we won't be able to vote on a hate crime till November, so we don't know when this trial is. They basically try to argue that a mod was having hallucinations in his office meds. I'm like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" And the judge was not having it either. Basically, the judge said, "Look, this is enough evidence to basically take this to trial. So we're getting a trial." Um, I don't know when the hearing for George Floyd is. The fact that it took us till June to get a hearing. Because this happened like mid... Was it mid-April? Was it... No, the video came out like late April, early May. Yeah, it was early May when the video came out. So it took us a month to get to a preliminary hearing. So I don't know when the hearing is going to be for... Um, I don't know when the hearing is going to be there for... Um, Chauvin and the other officers, but we already know there's going to be a trial going forward, okay? Um, Brianna Taylor today would have been her 27th birthday. Happy birthday, Angel. Um, her killers are still haven't been brought to justice. We are still fighting for her, and we're still fighting for George and Ahmad. Um, I'm going to link petitions, um, bail funds, anywhere, donations, all that. I'm going to link all that below in the description of the video after I upload. I have to make a whole notes thing so that I can actually paste it onto the description. It's a lot, y'all. It's really a lot. Um, which goes into my next thing, the protest, y'all. This has gone global. It's gotten to the point where other countries are basically breaking their stay-at-home orders to go protest. I mean, hell, France was going up. The UK was going up. New Zealand was doing a whole chant for us. I'm like, heck yes, Palestine, you know, Syria, they're in the middle of a, oh, their own civil war and they over here wanting justice for us with protests. I'm like, man, this is, this is everywhere. This is everywhere. And I'm so happy seeing all this unity and this 
it really this time I felt like this was the tip of the iceberg because we just had the Ahmad case happen and then we had George Floyd White after that and I know people have opinions when regards to the protest and looting protesters and looters are two different people okay different intentions let's get that clear okay but I, I do not condone the looting but the, the riots had to happen it had to happen because people are tired we did peaceful protesting for the longest time but y'all were not listening we did the kneeling y'all hated that wouldn't listen argue about the flag which we're going to talk about later so and y'all love to not bring up dr king too they're like oh why can't you be like mlk jr he did peaceful yeah and he died y'all shot him in alabama y'all yeah this man kept it peaceful until y'all killed him mm -mm. uh-uh y'all don't bring, bring up michael <laughs> and another thing i want to make this very clear I'm all for you guys, for my non-black viewers, if y'all want to educate yourself, that is fine. However, the help is not something to educate yourself about racism, okay? The, that movie is problematic on its own, okay? And it makes you comfortable in a setting where it's a white savior movie. Let's just keep it, let's keep it 100. It's a white savior movie at this point. And, um... I'm making a whole, I'm making a video on this tomorrow, but if y'all want to educate yourselves on something, watch When They See Us, okay? 13th is there. When They See Us is there. Dog on, the Khalif Batter story is on there, okay? It, Netflix is there, but you want to make the help go number one on Netflix. Y'all got to do better. If y'all want the recommendations, go ahead and go on my Instagram or my Facebook. I posted a list there. Also... Just Mercy and Selma is free to rent for the entire month of June. Shout out to Warner Brothers for coming through, okay? Um, let's get on to um, these cops. Y'all cops are exposing y'all asses, okay? Because they have been so bold. Y'all thought the weekend was bad? Child, this week just got worse. Hell, first of all, y'all in these curfews, y'all changing these curfews to keep these protests from happening. Child, we'll just wake up earlier. We're waking up earlier. Not only that, a lot of y'all police stations are showing y'all asses, okay? First of all, let me get on the APD. APD, y'all whole department going down, okay? Y'all, base that there's a whole lawsuit going on with two college students. Y'all, y'all probably already saw the video the two students the morehouse student and the spellman student that got basically tased in their car and basically tied by police yeah they're suing they're suing apd in the city of atlanta and i hope they take them for the entire budget okay when i saw that press conference the girl literally was stone cold did not smile the guy he had a cast on he had to get 26 stitches and he had an ascot on and he an alpha brother i'm like bruh a brother and an ass guy, he came to do business, okay? And they are ready to sue. Okay, Ke Keisha Lance bought him, okay? Now, I should not be roasting the black one, but at this moment right now, I'm really pissed at you because you basically enacted martial law unofficially. You unofficially enacted martial law. You fell embarrassed after last week's protest in Atlanta that first day. And then after that, you bring in the National Guard, you bring in the tanks, you bring in SWAT, and now they're wreaking havoc on the whole city. And people, hell, they're arresting people who aren't even in the protest. They are just coming home from work. Hell, I got anxiety whenever my brother's out when he's going to work. And whenever he's picking up groceries for our mom. And literally, I'm like, Kevin, get home. And this whole weekend until the 7, curfews are till 8 o'clock. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, geez. And then you're going to reprimand the officers and the whole tasing scandal. It's like, okay, they've been fired. The others on this duty. But then six are charged. And it's like, okay, there were more. There were more. And the irony of it all, that the kicker in it all, five of them were black, one was white. Skin folk and you can't folk, okay? Let's just get that there. NYPD, y'all over here. Ooh, I had heard some stories about NYPD, but y'all are trash, okay? Y'all running over people in the protests. There's this this one guy, um, 
I don't know if it was in Brooklyn or Brookstone, but basically he helped hide basically 70 protesters in his house and basically National Guard basically threw tear gas in there to try to get him out. I'm like, y'all are trash and that's the tip of the iceberg. Dead? Buffalo, New York? Two officers knocked down an old man and he was bleeding. And then they're going to try to say, oh, he just fell. Y'all on freaking camera. Then two of them are suspension without pay, pending investigation. What investigation? It's on camera. And then 75 of the officers resigned in support of the two officers. Like, what? Y'all are showing y'all asses, okay? This is why people want the police dismantled. And with Minnesota PD, they're talking about dismantling Minnesota PD. So, I'm all here for it. Um, y'all, <laughs> y'all in this looting like y'all been looting for no reason like i understand people are people been going through rough times with this whole pandemic people have not worked in months trust me that has been me the child i'm checking my battery sorry the child at&t came out and said look y'all took our phones we disabled them we're tracking them we're gonna find your asses i'm like ooh. and then you know icebox in atlanta was like oh yeah they can take the washes not all the real ones the actual ones are in the safe i'm like okay but let's get to the cancellation list. Child, <laughs> so many people got canceled this week. I'm just going to run through quick because the list is, lo is long. First of all, Trina. She gets, Trina has been on one for a while, okay? She, I don't know if she's famous outside of Miami, but she's basically been on the beneath, the beneath me shit and basically got mad because, you know, the looters... We're basically messed up her friend's shop and she put them as protesters and called protesters animals in Miami. And I'm like, okay, girl, what the, f what the fuck is wrong with you? And then she's going to say, I oh, know I'm protected. I got my license registration. That's the most ignorant shit. Girl, you're still black. Weren't you going out three months ago when a lady called you the N word at Walmart? What? what? <laughs> and then you're going to do this whack ass apology. You did the apology because you wanted to keep your job and people are already doing that petition but let's move on to the next thing leah michelle <laughs> leah michelle got caught out on her her racism and basically she was trying to support black lives matter and then samantha um where called her out and then you had another co-star come out another one come out another one another one from different projects people came out and basically was like look she was horrible to me she was racist now she basically came out with a weak apology and said you know I don't remember doing this, but I want to apologize. I'm like, that's not how you started out. And then basically it's like, I'm about to become a mother. I want you, my child, this. I'm like, girl, do not use the pregnancy angle to try to save yourself, okay? Then Shekana, cry over Target. Evan Peters supporting the cops. Tokyo Jazz making making fun of George Floyd's death. I'm just like, y'all are a mess. Virgil donating $50. Salsa Santana doing the photo shoot. At a protest, LL Cool J calling out Miss Kids, Ryan Guzman from 911, Eddie basically disregarding racial slurs. I'm just like, y'all gotta stop. Uh, Jake Frome from UGA, who just got drafted to Chicago Bills, got added for his racist texts. Then the NFL tried it, tried to join on the Blackout Tuesday and basically be in support. I'm like, where was this with Kaepernick? If if y'all are in support, then Kaepernick still have a job. Then you got Abby Miller being caught on her racism. And then Drew Brees <laughs> basically made this whole thing about the flag again. I'm like, bitch, he came out with two apologies. A stock photo in the first one, and a video with the second one. And then Trump basically said, <laughs> but Trump came out today and was like, don't apologize, stand up straight. And then Drew Brees had to come back and was like, I do not condone this shit. Don't make it about the flag. Make it about the people. And Drew Brees only did that because, look, he was like, look, this could have been blown over over the weekend, but you just added more pressure on onto my back. I got to take care of this. Listen, football season is going to be rough for him. <laughs> Whoo. Um, I'm trying to get through this for my battery dies. Uh, John Boyega made an amazing speech at the Black Lives Matter March in London in the UK. Love him for that. Um, Amanda Seals leaves the reel after six months because she couldn't be filtered out. I completely support her on that. Um, the NBA is coming back in July, y'all. They are doing the games at Disney World, 22 teams. 
Um, Atlanta Hawks didn't make it. Not surprised. They're starting in July, going into October. <sighs> it's coming back. Um, voting. We got our first, Fer um, Ferguson got his first black mayor. I don't know her name, but congratulations. Um, I think we're just going to make part two to this. And then, um, Carol Baskin was in the news today. Um, for two things. One, she officially got Joe, Joe Exotic's whole zoo. He's still in jail. So he got, he got the whole zoo. But the next day, we find out that her first husband, Will, was fake. I said, come on, season two. I said, come on, season two. We all know she killed her husband. We all knew. We all knew. <laughs> but yeah, this is part one of my video. Um, I'll upload part one of this. Because I kind of rushed through it because my battery is literally so low right now. So I'm going to upload part two as soon as this is fully charged. Um, let me know in the comments how you guys felt about the stories that I talked about on here. Um, I'm going to be back with the second half as soon as this one uploads. So let me know in the comments how you feel about the stuff I talked about. I'll see you guys for part two. Bye.